25 plus green building design ideas and strategies for sustainable shipping container homes. With the rising cost of building and more people becoming environmental conscious, building with shipping containers is more than just a fad for green building and also an alternative cost-effective material for building a new house. If you love shipping container homes, or are exploring the possibilities of building your own, this video brings to you the 25 plus green building design ideas for sustainable shipping container homes. The presentation is grouped in five broad sections. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on design of shipping container homes. Number 1. Sustainable Site Development. The most important element of green building simply begins with site selection. The basic intent of this strategy of green building is to utilize the site such that there is a minimum environmental impact the project may pose on the site. Since most container houses are smaller than standard homes, less land is required to build a container home. The reduction of the building footprint means less resources used hence good for the environment. Consider buying what people call the problematic plot. This can be a plot on reclaimed land, a narrow plot, a plot on a slope or a corner plot fronting two roads. Such plots are normally cheaper because are not preferable by many. Building a container house would be a sustainable way of developing a problematic plot. The shipping container guest house by architect Jim located in the San Antonio, Texas was built on a former light industrial site, which was cleared out and fully landscaped to create a container cabin which serves primarily as a guest house. Focusing on proper storm water design minimizes the amount of surface water runoff by harvesting excess storm water. Use permeable paving like grass and avoid large impervious surface areas for parking lots to allow ground seepage to naturally recharge groundwater. The color and reflectance of the building roof and of the surrounding paving have a significant impact on cooling loads inside the building, and on the local microclimate through the heat island effect. Consider shading your container house by planting trees on site or a trellis planted with native vines to help in reducing the temperature of the local microclimate. Number 2. Water Efficiency. The basic intent of this strategy is to provide water efficient practices both indoor and outdoor. Xeriscape landscaping using native plant species for the roof garden and general landscaping is aimed at reducing water demand for irrigation purposes. In addition, treating the wastewater on site using innovative wastewater technologies such as a reed bed system is highly recommended. The reclaimed water can be used for non-drinking functions such as toilet flushing or landscape irrigation. The shipping container guest house by Jim Petit Architects is covered with a roof garden. All the water from the shower and sink is captured in a grey water tank and is used to irrigate the roof garden. Similarly, rainwater harvesting systems can supply an off-grid container home with entire water needs, including their potable water. An elevated corrugated steel roof is ideal for rainwater roof catchment. If containers have no roof, apart from raising the containers from moisture, the elevated position of shipping containers provide an ideal position to fix gutters to collect rainwater coming down the walls of shipping containers. A proper system that combines rainwater catchment, storage, filtering and recycling to supply your home with an efficient and renewable water supply. Water use reduction is a strategy that helps in reducing the total potable water used by your container house through use of water efficient plumbing, fixtures and fittings. Some of these fixtures include, tankless water heaters, auto controls, dual flush toilets waterless urinals and solar-powered composting toilets. Number 3. Energy Efficiency. Energy efficiency and conservation is undoubtedly the most important part of building green since it is also the main source of greenhouse gas emissions. Consider designing your container house with no mechanical ventilation, air conditioning, whenever possible. Within the tropics, 
Natural ventilation of buildings is highly possible through cross-ventilation by taking advantage of cool breezes and fenestrations through building design. Visage Oak Primary School is one good example of how an elevated reflective roof and cross-ventilation can be used to take advantage of the natural environment to keep the container classroom cool. Maximum energy savings can be achieved at no additional cost by pursuing passive design strategies for heating, cooling and ventilation such as thermal mass cooling and heating by use of advanced building envelope, recessed fenestrations, use of overhangs, sunshades and deciduous vegetation on the east-west facing fenestrations that will shade the home in summer while still allowing light and heat during winter. Optimizing energy performance and energy efficiency provides for a mechanism for assessing all the energy features of a container home. Lighting fixtures such as LEDs and appliances such as fridges and washing machines with energy star rating are good for efficient energy consumption. Green power is the current trend every building striving to achieve green building credentials must pursue. This focuses on ways to use renewable energy sources such as solar, wind and geothermal to offset non-renewable energy sources. Tesla Solar Roof and Powerwall 2 are good candidates for this segment. Container homes with green power benefit from reduced energy consumption and can qualify as energy neutral or a net zero energy building. Excess energy can also be purchased by third-party energy resellers or connected to the national grid and the money used to offset other expenses on the building. Number 4. Indoor Environmental Quality In green building design indoor air quality is often cited as the second most important feature of a green building after energy use. A healthier indoor environment in a building can be created through avoiding hazardous materials found in paint and other finishes and potential impact they may have to the users. A real concern about homes built from shipping containers is the possibility of multiple toxic exposures from timber floors of cargo containers treated with insecticides, to toxic spillages during transportation. To remedy any toxic finishes, spillages and contamination from various cargo products, sandblast all internal surfaces down to the bare metal, then seal and repaint with non-toxic paint. Proper house design can reduce occupant exposure to indoor pollutants, through adequate ventilation to the outside. Appropriate distribution of space heating and cooling in a container house to improve thermal comfort and energy performance should be provided in the building structure. Steel is a good conductor of heat therefore, a container home will need to be insulated better than most brick, wood, or cement dwellings especially in regions with extreme temperature variations. Without a thoughtful and comprehensive temperature control strategy, your shipping container home could be absolutely freezing in cold climates or a smoking hot box in summer. Eco-friendly insulation like wool, natural cotton, and straw bulls can be used because of their higher values and their organic qualities. Recycled blue jeans denim by UltraTouch is a very good source of organic cotton insulation made from recycled blue jeans, which is 100% good, old-fashioned cotton. A living roof is not a replacement for insulation, it can help regulate the temperature of a container house by reducing indoor summer temperatures hence cutting down on air conditioning costs. A living roof offers no insulation benefits in wet weather, but the vegetation helps trap blowing snow for insulation benefits. A planted garden also protects your roof by extending its life expectancy. The Shipping Container Guest House by Jim Petit Architects is a good example of how a roof garden can be used to effectively control the thermal comfort of a container house in the scorching sun of the Texas desert. All adhesives, sealants, paints, finishes and cabinetry used on the interior of shipping container homes must comply with the standard requirement amounts of the volatile organic compounds VOC content such as urea formaldehyde good day lighting without glare is the hallmark of any green building this can come from large windows with proper sun shading cloistry windows in a vaulted ceiling properly oriented skylights light tubes and fiber optics in hidden spaces.
Good day lighting will also help to cut on lighting costs. To reduce the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container, all our designs provide occupants with a connection to the outdoors through a balcony access, outdoor terraces, deck seating and landscaped courtyards. Proper orientation of the building to take advantage of good views, vistas and panoramas from the building should be given precedence. Number 5. Sustainable Materials and Resources Green building materials come in many forms, recycled materials, reused materials, renewable materials or locally sourced materials. In the context of eco-friendly materials, they are comparable to their non-green counterparts if not better in terms of quality, performance, cost, durability and aesthetic appeal. There are millions of shipping containers that are not in use in ports all over the world. Reusing these containers to build houses saves a lot of energy that would otherwise be wasted in melting them down. Reusing a single 40-foot container upcycles about 3,500 kilograms of steel, and saves about 8,000 kilowatt hours of energy that would otherwise be needed to melt it down. Repurposing it only uses about 400 kilowatt hours of energy during welding and grinding. A good building and construction method is that which produces less waste during the construction process. Modular and prefabricated homes made from shipping containers are such good examples, they save on construction waste, time and money during a construction process, since everything is made in the factory and brought on site for assembly. Several global companies such as, Montana, a Montana-based startup, wants to make it easier for everyone to become a homeowner, with shipping container homes. Reducing the embodied energy used in the production of building materials is equally important. Steel is sometimes more preferable than wood since it's more sustainable in the long run because of its high recyclability. In addition, reduction of embodied energy can be realized through use of rapidly renewable building materials. Floors can be made from rapidly renewable materials such as cork, bamboo and linoleum. The floor and walls of the shipping container guest house by Jim Petit Architects are lined with the eco-friendly plywood from bamboo. Did you find our analysis exhaustive and informative enough to help you start your container home project? If you feel we have left out something, kindly let us know by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on shipping container homes design. See you in the next video.